on SHR Hair Removal. So today we'll be looking at removing hair painlessly and effortlessly without SHR device. When you're doing large areas, such as legs, you'll need to divide them into a smaller section just so you know where to go and where you've been when we turn our client over. So initially, using a yellow or a pink highlighter, you no know, black textures that will cause a burn, mark out or grid out where we're going to go. And one on the inner side, up to the knees. Ensure that all the surroundings are white, otherwise black will attract the light. Apply a generous amount of your conductive gel. Warn your client that it's cold. So make sure you put in your settings, selecting your skin type initially. Your working time, usually it's one second per pass. So for legs we'll need 10 passes and that's set to 10 seconds. This tell you, tells you how many flushes you performed in this treatment. This tells you how many flushes your machine has performed throughout the actual course of its life. Select your jewels. So for skin type 3, we'll be performing 27 jewels. And then press play. Play enables your snowflakes to come up on the screen. Once your handpiece is actually cold enough, you can go ahead and do your treatment. Touch the lens to ensure that it's nice and cold. If it's too cold, it'll stick to the client's leg and may cause a freeze burn. Once that's nice and cold, press your play button to arm the device and you're ready to perform your SHR treatment. Once you're ready to perform your treatment, you place your handpiece and glide it along the skin. You can either use your side button, your top button or your foot pedal. Your foot pedal does give you more flexibility as to which way you want to hold your handpiece, whereas there are limitations with the buttons. Today, I'll be using my foot pedal. On the count of three, one, two, three, glide. Five, six, seven, eight. So that was eight passes. How did that feel? That was painless. Okay, then we're up to our next section. Get your client to rotate with you to make it easy for yourself and to allow the best contact with the skin to the handpiece. One, two, three. And roll over again. So this time, because my cord will get stuck here, I'm turning my handpiece around to give me more room. And that's the top half and the side of the leg done. Now we can proceed to the other side. When performing a bikini, g-string or a Brazilian treatment, you want to work out how far you want to go with your treatment. So in this instance, we're going to go just below our fold or our crease of the leg. I've applied gel and we're going to work towards or the other way, inwardly, in 10 consecutive motions. So when you're ready, apply nice firm pressure and we'll do 10 passes. Between 8 to 10 depending when the client actually tells you that it's starting to feel warm and we'll stop at that point. Ready? Okay. And the next area, moving along. Area. 
It would be beneficial with clients who have got lax skin just to allow them to hold and stretch the skin for you. That'll make things easier. When we're coming to do a G-string, you'll usually go further down the leg, bring the client's leg up and apply the same treatment protocol there. If we were going to do the top of the bikini, you'll do one big strip across the bikini line with eight to 10 passes. With our Brazilian, you'll put your skin tight to one on the screen, apply enough pressure and just do a single pulse in the middle section around the labia. When you're performing an area where there's narrower, uh, a narrow section, make sure you apply more gel as the light will hit the skin and will get rather hot. So what you would want to do is apply the gel thick there. So just build up the gel there and that way it catches the light, it refracts it and will hurt less. So gel here, much more thicker, and that way when the handpiece is touching the skin, the gel here on the leg is actually catching the light and you would glide. This prevents the um, ankle from getting too warm. So there are two ways to perform treatment on the knee. You can perform eight consecutive passes like so. Or if the skin type is darker and they can't tolerate that heat, you can perform single passes eight times. Like so. And they're the two ways you perform treatment, either on the knee, around the elbows, or smaller areas where you can't get to, or if there are darker skin types. Once you have finished, all you need to do is wipe off the gel, clean the area, not with alcohol but just a fibrilla or a towel. It's advisable not to apply a lotion on due to the number of adverse reactions unless you have a specific post laser or post IPL gel. Advise your client to stay out of the sun, hot saunas, doing any exercise or anything that raises their temperature while their legs are still red and there is erythema, preferably for 24 hours. Definitely no suntan and get them to wear a sunscreen at all times. Thank you for watching. If you